Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Artem and if you're new here, I'm a growth hacker and a serial entrepreneur from Finland. So Microsoft has been killing it recently. I mean, with implementing Linux, with releasing, you know, awesome hardware recently and providing additional services for us webmasters, such as Microsoft Clarity, which we will talk about today. I think they have been doing really, really amazing things. And to be honest, I'm more impressed with Microsoft nowadays, you know, compared to Apple. I think uh, they're just really, really willing to innovate. And I have to say, I admire them for that. So let's talk about Microsoft Clarity. I guess you could call it an alternative to Google Analytics. But again, if you're using Google Tag Manager, you can employ multiple analytics software solutions and you know pick the one that you like or run them you know simultaneously along each other so it's all up to you but let's have a quick dive into microsoft clarity since it's available now to public and see what you can do in microsoft clarity that you wouldn't be able to do in google analytics or you wouldn't be able to do it as easily as in microsoft clarity so yeah let's dive in so Microsoft Clarity is out of the beta and now available to the public. You can go to clarity.microsoft.com and you will be able to register and get started or you can see the demo. And I think this is actually, you know, something that a lot of other tech companies could learn from. This demo doesn't require you to sign up, you know, or provide any kind of information and you can see, a, you know, demo dashboard with sample data so that you can actually see what kind of features it offers and uh, how does the UI work and so forth. I think this is really wonderful. But let's take one of my smaller projects where I installed Microsoft Clarity and let's see some of the cool features that Microsoft Clarity has. So JavaScript errors. That's wonderful. If you have a complex website where there is a lot of JavaScript, this is really good because you will be able to see if there is something wrong with your website. Helps a lot with debugging. Then you will be able to see basic information here, something you would be able to see in Google Analytics as well. But you have access to rage clicks data. You can see the definition here. And basically it's somebody clicking <laughs> in rage uh, excessive sc scrolling, basically that means that somebody is scrolling way more than average on your website. You know, quick backs, basically going to a, web, uh, to a page and then going right back. You can see then other, you know, pretty basic information that you would be able to see elsewhere, you know, browsers, countries, operating system, devices and so forth. But you also have access to dead clicks data. And I think this is really powerful because you'll be able to see when somebody is trying to click on an element that is not clickable. So again, it will help you improve your user experience. You have filter functionality here, something akin to Google Analytics segments. And you can basically drill down to, for example, mobile users behavior and so forth. Again, really cool stuff. But I think two most important functionalities are here, recordings and heat maps. So recordings are basically something similar to Yandex Metrica WebVisor, but on steroids. I think it just works better, but yeah. Anyway, you will be able to see a video recording of a session. So here, for example, we have somebody, you know, visiting the website and you can see here. Yeah, you can see them scrolling. So basically it's like a video recording of a visit. Yeah, you can see because it's a mobile device, those orange dots is where a person touches the screen and scrolls. Pretty nifty, right? But you can actually filter session recordings to, for example, display recordings where there are dead clicks. So let's see dead clicks. Well, let's take this. Yeah. And if the session recording is 
pretty long you can just go to timeline and you can go to the you know part of the session recording that interests you yeah so here we can see yeah come on there person was clicking an element and for some reason you know it didn't work so again this is something that developers could look at and see if in this particular browser there is some problem with the clickable area yeah good stuff so uh, what can you use this uh, session recording data for well you can analyze user experience you can see how people actually use your website um, you can kind of like get inside their head you can see if they're having problem finding pricing data or whatever there is that they're searching for you can actually analyze their shopping experience so you can see how easy it was to check out and so forth i think really nifty feature again not very unique since you know we've seen it elsewhere mouse flow yandex metrica webvisor and some other similar tools but still nice and heat maps that's really nice again there are similar services that provide this functionality but it's nice to have it for free and baked into this tool so yeah that's uh, yeah and if we go quickly over heat maps basically you can see what elements people you know click you can see how far do they scroll and you can basically analyze the website and see you know what elements draw the most attention when it comes to clicks and when it comes to for example scrolling so if you see that people are never scrolling past this element then maybe you should uh, you know switch places with other elements and maybe highlight information visible below this line maybe in the header so yeah really cool stuff really cool stuff and you can get started by just uh, inserting the code into your google tag manager and you'll be able to get your data in a few hours and you can just test it out so yeah really cool and i think a nice addition to your suite of analytics